Okay, now I'm going to show you how to uh, produce some paninis. Um, I've pre-prepped these paninis um, so I can actually show how fast it actually does it. I actually take the paninis and um, they're already pre-loaded, place them onto the actual plate like so. And again, I can use the accessory of a sandwich spacer just to make sure you get the same uniform size of the panini. And you can put as many paninis as you can fit on the plate. Again, that will depend on how big your actual ready product is. I'll plate it straight on top of the product I set the time and roughly this panini is going to take about 2 minutes to 2 minutes 15. Um, we can lift and check the plate at any time to see how it's actually progressing and I've set the timer off at uh, a 2 minute time. Again we can actually watch the product actually being melted and actually sinking down on top of the bar and when it actually hits the bar then we know the product is actually melted all the way through. Because unlike a panini press which will have the crocodile effect or a spring loaded grill or a lever loaded grill we don't have to do this at the end of the actual product we just simply lift it up bring it down directly on top of the product and therefore let it just take its own course okay now we can see the time it's just about there and we can see the actual product has actually sunk right down to the bar as you can probably see and at this point there, we hear the tone. This is a two minute time, and we know the product has actually melted all the way through as it's actually sunk right down to the bottom of the bar. Lift this up, take my paninis off, like so. And again, totally crisped up both sides, all within two minutes. And again, take my thing, and you, uh, take my knife, and you can hear it actually crunching as I go through. Plast it onto the plate, okay, that's a bit of a double on this, but hey ho, and then we have a panini and salad.